girls, uh, Billy the struggling plotter here, uh, down on the allotments. I've not been down here for the last mm, probably two weeks. Uh, reason being is I've uh, been too busy. Simple as that. Uh, but I do lie actually. I came down once uh, and just did a bit of uh, hoeing uh, just to get rid of some of the weeds, but the weeds again have come back. Um, so I'm just down on the allotment now, uh, just basically assessing what's what. Um, I've got some broad beans behind me that uh, I could uh, probably do with uh, pulling off and what have you. Uh, do a bit of tidying up and uh, basically do a bit of a uh, check around the allotments. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just set you up basically and just let you watch what's going on. Hopefully it's something interesting, and if it's not, then I'm sure you're going to disappear somewhere else. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's get to it. Eh? They've got pods on them now, these ones here, these ones are going over a bit, so let's see what we can get off here. Right? I'm going to keep some of these pods as well, for seeds. Yeah. Oh, that's not much, that's not good. Looks like it's got a uh, chocolate spot on. Uh, yeah, colour of them. Bit of, uh, yeah, that's called chocolate spot there. <sighs> Which I'm surprised at, but I'll get rid of them. Uh, because I think that if you get chocolate spot, you shouldn't actually uh, plant broad beans in the same place. So, try it on. A lot of ladybirds round, which is good. Uh, yeah. So you've got a bit of orange spot on me. Which, uh, it should be all right. Um, not orange spot. Um, Chocolate spot, I believe it's called. I only know that because I was listening to uh, Gardener's Corner. I was listening to Gardener's Corner the other day while I was at work, uh, and somebody was asking about the discoloration of the pods, and they asked about it, and they basically told them what it was. A bit of information. sent me a message as well to the video a few weeks ago talking about food shortages and things like that and we're talking about the um, the plan to basically create create purpose with food shortage uh, and I was called a conspiracy theorist, which is absolutely 
mind blowing uh, because the information I was given is actually information from their own um, stuff online which is part of the World Economic Forum uh, and we're looking at um, talking about the, the uh, farmers in the Netherlands being forced off the land to make way for a mega city. 3,000 farmers, uh, cattle farmers being forced off the land in the Netherlands uh, by a government which has been infiltrated by corporations and big businesses. Uh, we actually seems to now have a situation where governments, banks and mega corporations are now working together actively to force changes within uh, societies, changes that we've not actually asked for. Uh, and they're using the climate um, stuff as a precursor to doing these sort of things. Uh, as I say, to be called a conspiracy theorist over it, um, it's quite amusing to tell you the truth. Because uh, all you need to do is have a look at their own literature and you'll see that uh, what I was actually talking about is <laughs> exactly what they're doing. Hey, I'm a little bit disappointed here. Anyway, I, uh, I did put my squash, put some butter squash seeds in this bed. I'm hoping that. seeds which I don't normally do onions from seeds but I thought I'll give it a go see how they work um, yeah just gonna see how long it takes for these seeds to before the air uh, arrive see how long it takes and uh, hopefully we can do a review The, this bed here which has got the onions in uh, they all basically went to seed I've just left them in at the moment to see what happens with it really uh, it's always the red onions I find that I do it which is a pain Oh, the red onions 
Just seem to to do it. This plot is a struggle. The amount of different weeds that are in it is unbelievable. I think we've got every weed you could probably get in this uh, on this uh, on this allotment. We even had um, Japanese knotweed outside, which the council killed off just before they did a they decided that they weren't gonna do it anymore because it wasn't because of the price of actually treating it um, so luckily luckily for us and luckily for the people who probably I've actually straightened this path up, up, up. straighten that path up. Um, so I'm starting to get these paths leveled off a little bit as I'm going along. Uh, hopefully I can get more of this done over the next couple of months.